What's going on guys? Picked up this M2 Camaro Camaro set. It's the IROX. IROX. And this is the box. The typical M2 box. Let's uh let's crack this open. Now I had a I had a look at a, a couple of them, and uh, they had quality issues some of them, uh, but that's not nothing new for uh, M2. So I'm hoping the ones I uh, that I got here are uh, not too bad. I really like the IROC Camaro. It looks good to me ever since I was a kid. So kind of a fan. Alright, just a, a little bit of a pain in the butt to open these things. But. Alright, here we go. We got it out of its sleeve. We're going to have a close look at it in its little shell here. Actually, let's take this off. Ooh, it's on there. Oh, I hate these. Uh, I hate these M2 cases. They're such a pain in the ass to, to get up, get to get off. Like, try not to. Oh, oops. Oops. I just knock one spoiler out of place. Hopefully, we can glue that back down, but. All right, we just kind of, yeah, we did this. We just did that, but that's all right. Anyways, let's uh, let's unscrew them and I'll have a look at all of them. All right, we might as well get them all off here. We'll go. We'll get off the one that I just kind of kind of broke the spoiler a little bit, but that's all right. Looks like uh, something I could piece back together. They didn't do too much damage. But yeah, the M2 cases sucks for coming apart. I don't know why. I can't just figure it out. And, um, you know, make a nice, smooth case. So we'll take this one off first. Have a good look. They do look pretty good. M2 does have some really nice castings. Just their quality control is um, not there. All right, so let's have a look. See, spoiler, that's where I uh, kind of touched it, but I think we're all right. It sits in these little holes here. I just probably have to glue it down a little bit and we'll be fine. Really nice. This is a really nice casting. They did a good job. Uh, and it rolls pretty good too. They did a pretty good job on the details. I'm not sure if the hood opens on this one. Let's just try. Yeah, it does open on this one. Ooh, check it out. Nice V8 in there. LS. Looks pretty nice. The rims look really nice too. I really like the rims. Good year. Yeah, this is a really nice piece to add to the collection. 85. Cool. All right, let's get uh, we'll get the blue one off next. these uh, these screws that are holding them in aren't seized in or anything like that. They come off pretty nice. There. Alright. Here is the blue one. So I was a little bit worried about uh, the stance because it looked a little bit jacked up in the packaging. Oh, it still kind of does. 
Yeah, see, it still kind of does. Not bad, though. It's sitting kind of crooked, yep. So I should probably sit with that, but... Uh, that's M2 for you, you know. Let's check out the motor on this guy. Looks like the same motor setup. I don't, this one looks like it's uh this one looks like it's supercharged or something. Not sure. Not too much detail under there. Not too much detail. But this one has a roll cage. Does the other one have a roll cage? No, this one didn't have a roll cage. So they are a little bit different. This one is more a race car. Has a roll cage. Has a different hood. A little cow hood. Same rear end. That's a weird, uh, weird tail light. Kind of looks like, yeah, that's just weird. That little spot there. If you guys have this car, let me know if your tail light looks looks that weird. Yeah, this looks good though. The paint job looks good. Has a little bit of a sparkle in the paint job. I like the blue. All right, let's check out the last one. They also had uh, lifted square bodies, Chevys, but I'm kind of over the Chevy trucks because there's just been so many this year. These Camaros are pretty sweet though. I'm kind of glad they're going a little bit hard on these Camaros. This one has a little bit of a lean too, not, not too bad. This says LSX right on the side of it. Pretty sweet. And we we're in. Does this one have a roll cage? Hard to say. Yeah, I can actually see it. Does have a roll cage? Let's see the motor in this. See if it's any different. No, nope, same motor as the other car. So it looks like a blown LS sex. This one is probably pretty quick. This is probably the nicest one out of all of them. This just looks pretty nice. A little bit of a wobble. The rear end seems a little bit loose on these things, but yeah, nice detail. Not bad cars overall. Probably gonna just leave them out. Cool. Alright guys, thanks for checking these out with me. Pretty dope. Glue the spoiler back on. Yeah, not bad. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.